Now, unlike these other operations, matrix multiplication is super important and super not obvious. If I take the product of a matrix A with a matrix B, the ijth entry is the sum, as k goes from 1 to n, of a i k times b k j. Now, what is that? What does that really mean? Oh, that's really the ith row of a dot product with the jth column of b. That's really what that formula means if you dig into it. So for example, if A is an M by N matrix and B is an N by P matrix, then their product, AB, is really an M by P matrix. And I sometimes like to write it with that product matrix in the lower right-hand corner so that you can see exactly how the ijth entry is the ith row of A dot product with the jth column of B. In this simple example, that entry is 0 times 2 plus 2 times 3 plus 8 times negative 1. That is negative 2. Now, in general, to compute the product matrix, you have to redo that dot product computation for each element in the product matrix. And that's a lot of computation, and you've got to be careful to only multiply compatibly sized matrices. One simple example involves matrix vector multiplication. That is multiplying a matrix times a column vector. And this gives you, again, a column vector in return. Here's a simple example with a 3 by 4 matrix multiplied by a column vector with four entries, 2, 1, 0, negative 1. In this case, you could do exactly as we have said and take dot products of the rows of the matrix with that column vector and you can check that you will get the answer, in this case, of 1, negative 4, 5. However, there's another way to do it, and this way can be very helpful. You can take a linear combination of the columns weighted by the vector values. In this case, 2 times the first column, plus 1 times the second column, plus 0 times the third column, plus negative 1 times the fourth column and adding together the elements across a row is just like taking a dot product of the row of the matrix with that column vector. And you can check that the answer that you get in this case is the same, no matter which way you do it. What's nice about this second approach is that you can often do it in your head. That can be helpful.